you mentioned your book and which I think is your title, you have a, a title and a subtitle. And I think that's so important. The very first part, know who you lead. So once you, and I found it interesting also that you have a section of the book to say, okay, know yourself yeah. you know, as a leader. So that's really interesting. And it's interesting for a lot of different reasons. That's what we should be teaching in our classrooms, should be teaching leaders to know yourself. But I, I would contend that it's more important to know the person I'm leading. Why did you choose that first part of your title? Know who you lead. So it's called knowing who you lead because you do need to understand the people that you're leading because every single one is different. And yes, I know this is the scary part for leaders because you've created a system and you want the system to work with everybody. But we are not a transactional workforce anymore. We're not an industrial based workforce. We're a people based ah, workforce. There you go. So mm -hmm. we need to get to know the people that we're leading. Just like a hockey team, I give lots of hockey analogies in the book too. A coach has a hockey team this year. They can't just automatically use the same playbook next year because the players are different. The people are different. The way you have to inspire them, the way they learn, the way they work together, it's different. Organizations are the exact same. When we bring someone new in, we need to get to know who they are so we can leverage all their fantastic skills and assets because that's what you hired them for. But then we don't utilize and empower them to use this information. And back to a really quick win that we talked about, that video. You've got new people working for you, younger generation. Maybe you're a business leader. You've been in the business 20, 25 years and you're thinking of video. This is a perfect opportunity. Leverage those younger employees. Tell them, hey, I'm going to give you the autonomy of creating a quick, promotional video of the company that we could use to try to attract new employees. Here you go. Do it this afternoon. I'll give you the time to do it. They know how to work the technology. They know how to use the software. They've got great ideas there. and have they're some fun with it. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden you've empowered me. You've recognized strengths that I have. And innovatively, we're going to now advertise the business in a new way. And that just if my thinking is that builds onto everything. If I tell those group of employers, I want you to go make a video that promotes the company so other people can come to work. Mm -hmm. They're going to love that. They're going to do it. But then that other person who comes to work that we just hired, they're going to quickly bring them into the culture. Mm -hmm. And they say, this is our culture. This is what we're all about. This is why we follow the mission and the vision of the company. If I may step on the hockey analogy for just a second. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's going to be difficult for my Colorado Avalanche to repeat because the change is going to happen. <laughs> We're going to win twice. And <laughs> We're going right. to win next year as well, too. All right. <laughs> the best team in hockey, best team ever, Colorado Avalanche. Anyway, enough of that. Okay, so um, I want to ask you something, though. The values. I think that's important for people to grab a hold of as a leader, embrace who you're leading, and what they value. That was, I think, a main point of what you're teaching and showing what they value. 